channel. If you're new here, my name's Kristen, and I post DIY, lifestyle, and life hack videos every week. If you like all of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss a future video. This week's video, we are going to be doing a bunch of cheap and easy DIY stocking stuffers. I will leave links in the description below to everything that I've purchased. Most of it's on Amazon. A lot of the stuff was honestly just things that I've had laying around my house and that you probably do too. I've already had the essential oils from like a purchase from a long time ago from Young Living, but you can use any essential oils that you want. The Now brand is actually really cheap and affordable and all you really need is like a bunch of lavender and you can make all of these soaps and all of these projects with just lavender, honestly. I did this last year, by the way, and everyone loved it. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, so we are going to start making our melt and pour soaps. All you need is some melt and pour soap. You can buy it on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below on where I actually bought everything in this video. Another quick hack is if you don't want to order your soaps and stuff online, you can always go to like the dollar store or Walmart and pick up just some bars of soap, melt them down and pour them into whatever molds that you want. And you can add like your fun little rose petals or cranberries or whatever it is that you want and make it your own. You're going to need a spray bottle with some rubbing alcohol in it this will get all of like the little bubbles out and I'll show you how to use this then most people use microwaves I'm going to be using the stove either one works you're going to need some essential oil or fragrance to add to your soap and whatever kind of additives that you want oh and a soap mold and you definitely need a soap mold so if you pick up this pink soap mold I got it from Michaels each of these are four ounces so you can either measure four ounces by weighing it on your scale or you can just eyeball it. When I first started, all I did was eyeball everything, and so if you're okay with that, then go for it. Quick tip, I find it easiest if you put your soap mold onto like a cutting board or some hard surface so that you, when you go to transfer it, maybe if you wanna put it in the fridge to help harden it faster or move it around because these are really flimsy and I've definitely spilt them not using this before, so. When you're about to melt your soap, it's easiest to cut it up into cubes beforehand so that it will melt easier and more consistently. So I have my soap cut up into little squares. I'm going to heat this up until it melts. If you're heating this up in the microwave, make sure that you do it in 30 second intervals and keep pulling it out and stirring it. You don't want it to bubble or burn. I'm heating my soap up on the stove, so I just have some boiling water in a pot and I'm gonna keep stirring the soap. Be careful if you touch this glass, it's very, very hot. While my soap is melting, I'm gonna spray a bunch of the rubbing alcohol onto this tray so that the soaps don't stick. Next, we are gonna take some of our dried cranberries and put them at the bottom of the tray. You wanna make sure that you use dried cranberries and not real cranberries because your soaps will last a lot longer because real cranberries can actually go moldy. Once you've got all the bubbles out and your soap is ready to go, you can add whatever kind of scent that you would like. I'm actually just gonna use the pure vanilla extract. Now keep in mind, if you use the pure vanilla extract, it might tint the color of your soap um, to be a little bit brown. I actually forgot that I didn't have any more vanilla essential oil, so this will have to do, and let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna go ahead and just, just eyeball it. Just enough till it smells very vanilla-y. I'm gonna add some cinnamon to it. Oh, that smells really good. Do vanilla cinnamon, that smells very good. Okay, and then we are just going to pour the soap into the mold. One trick I learned from another YouTuber is when you are going to pour your soap, you should pour it over a spoon so that it doesn't splash and move whatever you have down first on the tray. Kind of allows it to just like trickle. And then what you do, once you have it all poured, is spray it with the alcohol to get all those little bubbles out of the top. And there we have our first two bars of soap. So I've cleaned this out. It doesn't have any other smells in it anymore. I'm going to repeat this process with different essential oils and different toppers, such as dried lavender, dried rosemary, rose petals, whatever it is that you have or want. You don't even have to do that step. That's just extra. You can just melt and pour and be on your way. But um, if you wanna add some extra touch, I've had all this laying around my house. If you enjoy crafts as much as I do, you probably have some of this stuff around your house too. I also have things like rosehip oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil. You can add any of those to your soap if you want. 
Here, I am just repeating the same steps that I went through before, which includes melting the soap and essential oil, adding some dried lavender, pouring the melted soap into the mold, and spraying it with rubbing alcohol to remove any air bubbles. I tried doing a two-tone red and white peppermint soap, and it came out amazing. Just fill half the soap mold with one color, let it harden completely, and then fill the rest of the mold with more melt and pour soap with a color added. The two-tone peppermint soap came out amazing. I'll show you what those look like at the end of the video. We are going to start making some sugar scrubs. My mom loved these sugar scrubs last year and she's actually asking for them again this year. So you're gonna need a few things, white or brown sugar, whichever one you want, or mix the two, and any kind of oil. So you can actually use olive oil, fractionated coconut oil, regular kinds of coconut oil. Just FYI, so if you want it to smell coconutty, get unrefined coconut oil, and if you don't want it to smell coconutty, get refined coconut oil. Refined coconut oil is just kind of bleached and it takes out all the smell, whereas if you get unrefined, it will smell like coconut. So I got these containers on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below, but they come with like this nice little lid thing and top container twist on and off. Um, so all you're gonna do is figure out how much sugar you need um, and you can melt your coconut oil or mix it in. I'm just gonna scoop out what I need. It's whatever the size of your container. This also looks really good in mason jars. So if you have any like little mason jars that you wanna use to give as gifts, these are also really cheap. You can pick up mason jars and stuff at Walmart. There's tons of cool videos on YouTube on how to style these. But really, the only thing that you need for these scrubs is sugar and oil and a scent. So I have my sugar in here. I'm gonna add my oil. And all fractionated coconut oil is, is it's just coconut oil that has a lower melting point. So you know how like normal coconut oil stays solid unless it's pretty warm? This is just always kind of liquidy. And it also doesn't smell like coconut oil because it's refined. These are really nice if you make them with brown sugar and vanilla. You can make them um, using peppermint like I'm going to and a little bit of red dye to make it festive. You know, you can make these Christmas themes. You can get sprinkles and make Christmas cookie ones and make them like vanilla sugar cookie and have sprinkles in them. I make them a lot of the time with lavender essential oil and I'll put some dried lavender petals in it. This, that's a really nice one. You can also do the same thing with rose and put in um, some dried rose petals. I definitely should have mixed it up in a bowl and then transferred it, but. And then just kind of feel it to see the consistency if it's what you like. I like mine to be like a little bit oilier. See the consistency, I don't know. It's like really wet, wet sand. It's more smushy than it's dry. There's a little bit of like a layer of oil on top. And I think that that's about right. And if you would like, you can add some red dye to make it look like peppermint. Um, this stuff that I have, I'll put link in the description below. It is safe for your body. It won't stain. It's cosmetic grade. So I don't know about using like just normal food coloring. You might wanna look into that before you actually do it. And here you have a nice peppermint body scrub. For the lip scrub, I repeated the same process as the peppermint scrub, except I used brown sugar and vanilla extract instead of white sugar and peppermint essential oil. I put the scrub into a smaller container that is perfect for your lips. Okay guys, for this next DIY, you're just going to need some Epsom salt, some containers, essential oil, and some like dried lavender or dried rose petals or dried whatever. I will leave a link in the description below to all the ones that I have and where I got them. They're all from Amazon, they're all pretty cheap. And then all we're going to be doing is putting the Epsom salt into like a cute little jar. I got these jars at Ikea. I was actually using them for my spices and then I'm just repurposing them now. I'm going to put them, use these for little Epsom salt bath containers. The first thing that we're going to do is just get some kind of bowl and measure out our Epsom salts. It all depends on what kind of jar you're using. You can also put these in mason jars. You can also add things like evaporated milk, the kind that's good for your body. I'll leave links to everything below that you might like wanna add. Just also be careful about the oil that you put in these salts because it could coat the tub and make it a little bit slippy. So we've got about this much and I'm also gonna add the lavender petals. We can kind of see I've added it there. 
I'm okay. just gonna put this into this bowl and mix it up with some lavender essential oil. Look at how nice this looks. With the dried petals in it, it just looks, looks fancy. And then just put it back into your jar. Okay guys, so let's see what we got so far. We have our two lavender bath salts. You can make these any scent that you want. All you need is Epsom salt. And actually, you just need Epsom salt and essential oils and you can just make them however you want. We've added some dried lavender and rose petals to them. You can just do one, you can put whatever you want in it. And then we've just put them into some nice glass jars. I will show you later how I package these as a gift. We've got those. We've got our peppermint body sugar scrub and our vanilla lip scrub. And let's take a look at our soaps. Wow, these came out awesome. Look at how straight that line is. These are perfect and they smell super pepperminty. So feel free to make any kind or variation of this as you want. You can make green ones, you can make pine smelling ones, different smelling ones. You can add cranberries to these. We have a lavender one. We have all the lavender at the top. This will look much prettier when we package it. We also have oh, our cranberry ones came out awesome. Our vanilla shea cranberry ones. Look at how cool that is. It's perfect for Christmas. Okay guys, so I just started packing up the soaps and they look so good. I just used some cellophane wrap and you can actually get this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. You can use plastic wrap if you want, but it just looks so much nicer if you use the cellophane. And I just took it and I just wrapped it like a present. But look at how professional these look. Oh, I'm just, I'm so excited. So right as I went to print out labels to package these guys up, my printer ran out of ink. Of course, right? But here's some ideas of how I put together my Christmas packages last year. I will also leave a link to my DIY soap Pinterest board in the description below. It has some amazing packaging ideas and many of the blogs have free printable labels as well. I am so sorry I didn't get to film this, but I really wanted to get this video out before Christmas for you guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss a future video. Until next time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.